The GoPro Hero 7 has been leaked. I wanna show you guys some pictures here today of the GoPro Hero 7 that has been leaked. I wanna show you the article around this. I also wanna go through, in my opinion, what price points the Hero 7 will come out at. Looks like there's gonna be three different models. I wanna share with you kind of the price points as well as the frame rates I expect these cameras to be able to do on the video side. So we're gonna get into all this, guys. Uh, by the way, welcome to Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy. Here's the in-store display as we see here. This was a leaked photo that came out. Um, basically, we see three different models here. We see a Hero 7 White, we see a Hero 7 Silver, and we see a Hero 7 Black, all different colors. If we notice by just looking at the screen there, it looks like one of the cameras, the Hero 7 Black, which is, I'm assuming, the, the very high-end model, has a screen in the front. Uh, we don't know about screens in the back as of yet. I would, I would assume they all have screens in the back. And if we look here, from a sideways view, it looks like the Hero 7 Black is actually much thicker of a camera than the other two cameras. The other ones look much more slim, so maybe that means that it's packing more performance specs in there. Uh, as far as the article here from The Verge, the camera appears to come in three different colors, white, silver, and black. The display also shows off some, uh, some usual features that we've seen with prior models, like image stabilization, as well as its ability to waterproof up to 33 feet. A couple of the models appear to come without a front screen. Going the differentiations we saw in the Hero 4 line, where the black model came without a rear touch screen, while the silver version did come with a rear touch screen there. So once again, it looks like GoPro has sent out its marketing materials already ahead of the launch. This happened with the Hero 6 lineup last year as well. It ended up getting leaked before they even ever announced the product. So in terms of the Hero 7, what do I expect here, okay? I expect a price point of around $499 for the Hero 7 Black. I'm expecting that to be a 4K camera that's able to do about 120 frames per second. We know last year the Hero 6 Black came out with 4K, 60 frames per second, so I'm expecting them to up that there, and that being a big differentiator in, in why you, know, you should trade up to get the Hero 7. If they come out with just 4K at 60 frames per second again, at a $499 price point, I don't think a lot of people are gonna go out there and buy it. I think they'll just stick to the Hero 6 at that point in time, okay? As far as the silver, I'm expecting a $399 price point. GoPro historically has really liked the, the $499, $399, $299 price point. So I'm expecting this one to be around $399 and this one to be able to do 4K 60 frames per second. I think that one's going to be in line with what the Hero 6 did. I think a lot of the specs on that one are going to be very similar to what the Hero 6 Black could do. And then the white one, I'm expecting this one to be their kind of um, still really good camera, but it's not, you know, as higher end. It's kind of more affordable. I'm expecting that one to come in at about a $299 price point and come in with a 4K 30 frames per second, kind of like the, you know a few years ago some of the highest end GoPros did. Um, so that's what I'm expecting as far as the, the pricing there and as far as the frame rates per second. I would expect this one to be able to do around uh, you know something, I, I would expect maybe 20 megapixel photos, maybe even 24 megapixel photos. If it can't do something like that, that's another thing. Now most people use their GoPros for video, so photo quality isn't quite as important, but I would expect at least 20, 20 uh, megapixel pixels for the photos there on, on the higher end model. These ones probably to run something in the 18, 16 range, and then this one probably in the 12 megapixel uh, range there. I expect them to eliminate the Hero 5 line. However, I do expect them to probably keep the Hero 6 line. In my personal opinion, I think they should eliminate both the Hero 5 line and the Hero 6 line. I don't know if GoPro will do that, but I absolutely expect them to, the, to uh, get rid of the Hero 5 line. I think it's just, a, a you know, if you have three different models here that are going to do most of their job for you, there's no point in keeping all these other lines around. All they do is confuse customers. All they do is put more price points out there, more inventory to worry about and whatnot. If GoPro's smart, they will eliminate both lines. However, GoPro is not that smart. Coming from someone years ago who you know, was investing in GoPro for a long amount of time, um, I understand this company's not the smartest, so they'll probably end up keeping the Hero 6 line, but they should honestly just eliminate them both, run with this lineup, and then also keep their cheap Hero, which their cheap Hero right now is priced at $199. I would expect them to drop that price down to $149. So if they did that, I think that would be a really clean lineup. You get rid of the Hero 5.6, or the 
excuse me, the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. You get rid of those lines. You come in with these three lines here, these three main products. You have your Cheap Hero, which is the one that kind of gets people in the door to try a GoPro product. You know, maybe some people that don't want to spend $500 on a Hero, but they see $149, they're like, I'll, I'll try that out. It's a stocking stuffer or something like that. So in my opinion, that's what they should do, but they're going to likely keep Hero 6 knowing GoPro at the end of the day. Let me know if you guys are excited about the, any of these cameras at all. If you're going to be going out and getting them, I would love to hear from you guys. If you're not excited at all, um, if you see no need for a GoPro, if you're just kind of like use your phone for pretty much everything across the board, um, I would love to know your guys' opinion down there in that comment section as always. This is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy. Thank you for coming in and have a great day.